Welcome back to Nerdcraft, I'm David, and we're going back to Phantasmagoria. This isn't to be confused with the much inferior title, Phantasmagoria 2, A Puzzle of the Flesh. This is, however, a different game. Uh, I can't skip this, so you guys are just going to have to watch it every time we make a video. Because my video editing software ran out of time, too. Uh... Alright, so by my reckoning, we've already done the bed scene. Did we check in the drawers? I don't remember. Well, there's the cigarette. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember. We checked the cigarette box. It was empty. What did we check over here? Did we check the old book thing? No. What's this? It is a... Ring. Hmm. Well. Isn't that a waste of time? We've already seen that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's leave this room. God, whoever designed this needs to be shot. I'm not saying the game looks shoddy, I'm just saying the room. Anyone that would design a room like this on purpose is a lot of ego. Wait, no, we've been in here. I remember this. That's where we got the weird tarot play cards. Okay, left or right? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Fuck a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eh. Oh. Oh, cool. Wait. wait. Nani? <laughs> Ow. Wait. Why? Why would that electrocute you? What on that implies electrocution? Uh, nope, nothing on there. The ominous music does not do anything for me. I don't understand why that electrocuted her, though. Well, let's go check out the old-time music machine, see what's on that. Yeah, what exactly on here indicates you're gonna get shocked? I don't know. Well, that's the third floor. Let's check this door. Oh. It's the hubby. Oh, great. Are you going to make me edit out another scene? Hey, honey. Oh. Hey, baby. Scott, are you okay? Yeah. It's a over slip. It's a damn drain. Let me see. Oh, I'm okay. Really, I'm... Um... Hmm. You know what I could use? Some drain cleaner. Do I have any? I don't think so. Well, damn! These old pipes really are clogged. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, hand me that wrench. Thanks, honey. Hmm. He didn't sound sarcastic at all, did he? This side up. Doesn't look locked. <laughs> Oops. Oops. You just poured water on him, you. Adrian, be careful. That lamp is not secure yet. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, I, I really feel like she's just getting in his way. And it's somebody playing her. I feel bad for this. We're gonna go up the third floor. Why? Because I have no idea what to do in this game. Well... Is this door locked too? Yep. You can see where the cameraman's interest was. What are you gonna see in there? Why, there's a key stuck in the keyhole. Well, then you need something small to knock the key out of the keyhole. Or you drop kick the door to knock it out. I'm a fan of the ladder. Alright, let's go look in this room. Yeah, that's not at all... odd. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Oh, jeez. That had its head chopped into. That's not at all suspicious. A headless bear sitting in this house, dear, that has been sitting in this house for years. So, that's it? This whole... Mm. What the hell is with that? And it's something I can actually click on. You're just gonna... Lady, that is not the normal reaction. My god, what is this? It's a physical substance? Okay. Um, not sufficiently freaked out, but we're gonna leave this area, cause, yeah. Let's go. Oh, goody. Seriously? Is that a painting of the piano downstairs? <sighs> you know, I'm just waiting for something to psychologically torture me enough that I just freak out. Oh, well, let's see what it is. Are you gonna show me the picture? Oh, that's pretty. Yes, let's leave the random picture. Isn't that a cobra basket? I was about to say, is that a dress? H. Uh, unless the graphics are so buggy, I can't see the letter right. Or is that a CH on it? Yeah, I have no idea. So that didn't do anything. And let me guess, she's gonna lay on the... No, she's gonna look at the weird dragon... What is this thing? I don't know. Shouldn't you be intelligent enough to tell me that? Uh, oh, so you're just not gonna... What is this thing? <sighs> Thanks. Because I needed to hear it twice. Okay, we went this way. Oh, my cat just headbutted my mic. Wait, do they have a fire lit up here?
Look, if the TV doesn't work, could you have just made an option for me not to touch the damn TV? I mean, it's not that difficult, I would assume. <gasps> Money! Good girl. You see a dollar bill in it, you take it. Ain't like they're using it anymore. And what's this exactly? Wait, is this where they've been Wait, sleeping? I gotta turn my computer off. I guess not. So this is their room. I guess they did find it creepy sleeping under, uh, Father... Under Wesker's watchful eye. I don't think that's his name, but... Let's put it this way. He looks evil. He sounds evil. Meaning, he's probably evil. The hell type of bathtub is that? I... I'm... Who designed this house? Wait. Seriously? You made that an option? I... Why? Uh... It baffles the mind. There's gore, sex, and violence in this game. Yet for some reason they felt the need to edit in her using the toilet. Well, that's Mr. Teddy Bear. That's Teddy Ruxpin. I'm just gonna leave Teddy Ruxpin where it is. If you ever saw what happened to the last person that messed with Mr. Ruxpin, you know it doesn't end well. Wait, no, that's the torture room. Leave. I don't know where to go next. No! Thanks. You made it look almost like you were going to do something. God. This house is huge. I know I should probably give you guys a better description other than the house is big. Yes! Really? Was this necessary? Just go back downstairs. He needs something for the drain, right? Fuck it. Let's go see. I... I... Well... Well, that's clearly the bridge. Wait, lady, are you actually going to walk there? You have a mode of transportation. What's with the weird statues? And the spikes. It's too far to walk to town. I better take the car. Well, I wasn't interested in you going to town. Nope. I didn't think so. I wanted to go to the abandoned tower thing. Is it this way then? Uh, 
Um, I think that's a yes. All right, this is the gazebo. Wait, I can't go to the gazebo? Gazebo. Gazebo. Good lord. <sighs> Lady, it's to your... Okay. I'm sufficiently irritated. Who designed the art here? Charles Manson? And any attempt to click on that just leads you that way. Well, let's see. What have we got here? Let's go... I... Again! I don't get it! Who would build a house like this? I mean... They don't find it at all creepy. Is this like a graveyard? Why would you have that in your backyard? You know, this is the type of place that you just burn it down and pretend it never existed. At least that's what you do if you're from my family. I mean, I can't think of a reason you would want to live in a house. Alright, let's go start the car. I mean... We're going on a whirlwind adventure, guys. Welcome to Nipamosta? Oh. Yeah, because you really had to turn and look at me. Nipawomosta. Closed. Hmm. Yeah, are you Bob Tompkins? When's the last time I took a look? <laughs> wow. My husband bought a house from you. Mm, too bad you got a husband, honey. I'll have a seat. <laughs> really? Uh, You're gonna be that sexist? Uh, Is he... What's his name? Asshole. What was that? Gordon. Donald Gordon. Gordon. Gibson, Gleason, Gordon. Yeah. Donald Gordon, here we go. Oh. Who's them people what took over the old Caravash estate? It's Carnivash. I remember now. Your husband was that photographer. What takes your pictures for those magazines? Yeah. Uh. Well, my husband works for several magazines. Uh. He's doing a project for Newsday magazine right now. Uh. And you, little lady, uh, you're a writer, huh? Yes. Uh. I'm a novelist. Oh, 
a novelist. Isn't that a novel idea? So what have you noveled? <laughs> have you heard of a book called Blue Moon Rising? No, can't say I have. I'm not surprised. Well, uh, young lady, unless there's something else, I think we'll cut this chit-chat for today. I got a lot of work to do. I got another client I'm going to meet. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, thanks. Oh, good lord, you two. You both are very childish. Sorry, I'm looking at stuff. Really? Not what I had in mind, lady. Oh, Lord. Gonna share with the rest of the class? Of course you're not. Look. This is riveting and all, but... Can we just leave now? Because you're not really doing anything. You don't like him, he doesn't like you. Oh, the ball guy's gone. Does that mean they're open? Closed. Until further notice. Okay, then. Don't pet the dog. Hey, fella. What a good boy. Oh, right. Closed, huh? Do any of your stores actually run? I, I'm. Get your stupid ass bit. May as well go home. I mean, you can't really do anything here. So Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do? Well, I mean, we went in. We weren't able to really... ...do anything. If you're trying to spook me with a panning shot, you're barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, like I said, we're gonna go tell the hubby, I guess. What asshole did. Gone? Hmm. Well, are you gonna go walk up and talk to your husband? I'm just looking at my plans here, trying to figure out the best way for me to do this. Wow, you've been alive. Yeah, it's really coming along. Did you want something, sweetheart? Oh no, I just came to see how you were doing. Riveting. Why don't you tell him you went and saw the jackass? Adrian, I can do this better myself, please. Okay, jeez. I'm sorry, hon. I'm just trying to get this done. Sure, fine. Have it your way. Well... I... Shit. I forgot how puzzling this game is to figure out. I've gotten four items. I don't really have a way. Could a dollar bill push out a key? That's what you came to do? Oh, what's in there? I haven't looked this way yet, I don't think. Another locked door. You know, for a house you guys just bought... There's a lot of locked doors. You're supposed to look, I guess, look for Drainer? No, I guess you're not gonna look for Drainer. Hmm. Well. Wait, we didn't solve the light issue. Spinning my wheels here, guys. Spinning my wheels. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'll know it when I see it. That's the kind of deal we're in. Well, we can go outside. Oh. What happens if we go to the left? But why? I don't get it. Why would you put a giant head? You know, I'm getting very tired. a five dollar bill uh, I don't know so we've gone to town everything's closed the dog will bite us if we try and touch it I'm sure the only other thing I can think to try is the stuff we have on that key 
or bring a piece of fire with her. We're definitely not getting in there. Whatever's in there. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to use the hint thing. Because I want to at least close with us making some form of progress. So, we'll go try it. I mean... Wait. Is there a light we can carry with us? I just thought about that. Because remember... I guess none of this is really anything we could carry with us. Huh? Let's go upstairs. We'll try everything we can on the door. But I'm pretty sure none of it's gonna work. Because the dollar bills are a little crinkly. Personally, I like my d idea better, but... Yeah, I'm drawing a blank, guys. I am the official hint keeper. I watch your every move. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. Too many hints can spoil the game. I, I don't have a choice. Someone in town holds the key. So I need to go find somebody in town. Okay, that's well and good. But none of them were talk. <sighs> Am I supposed to just show tarot cards to random people and hope to God one of them gets it? Like, hey guys, I'm going to just show you this card and you'll understand everything going on. I don't think that's how that works. Anywhere. Uh, fine. We're gonna go back to town. We'll try and talk to the person. I mean, we talked to the realtor. Am I supposed to hit the realtor with something? I could hit him with the bar. I mean, it may not help, but she'd feel better. Let me look at this again. Bar and grill. I don't remember there being a bar and grill. Sir! Sir! Don't leave me! Where'd he go? Into outer space? This is the only person left. Am I supposed to flash money on him? Somebody in town holds the seat is the key. Well, that's well and good. Woof! Shadow. I 
The only other person you can go talk to is the realtor. And he's a dick. Way to slam the CG door. <clears throat> what? Yes. Uh, keys. Are you sure you gave my husband all the keys to the Carnivash estate? I've noticed some locked doors. I gave him all I had. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just go check for yourself? Well, I think I will. Yes, I think I will. Oh my god. You two are childish. No, he didn't say leave. He said... <laughs> that is the sound of exasperation. Exasperation and annoyance. Lady? Oh. <clears throat> yes? Um, can I still search our folder for any more keys? Suit yourself. Thank you. Why? Why are you two so dickish? He made one pass at you. Yes. He comes across like an asshole. He's a realtor. Isn't that a key right fucking there? Aha. Carnivash estate. All the keys, huh? What's this? It's a very large key. <sighs> so sue me. Well, now we have the key. Are you really just gonna st Oh, good God, you're... Just... Oh... Just leave. Lady? We got the key. Although I don't know what we do with the key. Oh, mother of God. There's just no fast travel in this game either. People just... It's like, are you ready to walk? The correct answer is yes. Are you ready to walk long way? Again, all answers indicate yes. And why do I have to watch this? Okay. Now, FMV games in this day and era were like this. So if I seem a little complainy, it's because I've been accustomed to better quality. You know? When you get used to things being done better, you know what I mean? You tend to... Well... Well, we're gonna try this key. Let's try this big key on this. It fits! The door is unlocked. And we'll put this back. What is this? It's to the old Carnivash estate. Are you going to share with the rest of the class? This reporter attended Carno's Phantasmagoria show in London's Egyptian theater last night and found it horrific, spine tingling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, Carno's shows are not for the faint of heart as they feature occult images, the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations, 
Of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Those of you up to thrills and chills won't want to miss this. Thrills and chills, is it? Well... I can't say I'm up to thrills and chills. Well... That's the way we came in. Oh, we have books. Well, let's see. Well, none of them have been edited in such a way that they look out of place. Prognostications of evil? The devil made me do it? This guy had some strange taste. Worship of animals? The house wasn't your first clue? Secrets of the dead. Lady, look at the room you're in. Look at the house you're in. None of this was clear to you when you bought this place? Are you blind? There's a difference between a suspension of disbelief and being completely blind. Wait, that doesn't look right. Then a monkey foot. The hell? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you stated my thoughts. Rather clearly and rather succinctly. What the hell indeed. So, are you gonna... Bash it down with the fire poker. That's the obvious choice. Really? Damn, it's not working. Oh. Huh. You need something heavier then. Like a sledgehammer. Or your husband. I'm not saying she's weak, by the way. I'm just saying that a something heavier might... Are you kidding me? You just... I mean... Okay. Hmm. Let's take this. Dear Jeremiah, it has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a unique book while traveling through Egypt this most recent winter. It, it is my understanding that this tome contains powerful information regarding ancient rituals of sorcery and magic. I relish the thought of reading it. As you know, I am sometimes frustrated by the fact that I cannot really control the world around me. That my so-called magic is merely nothing more than illusions. Next month, I will be giving a show in Paris. Will you be in town then? If so, I would like to set up a meeting during which I could examine your fascinating acquisition. If the book is really authentic, I would be more than willing to pay a hefty sum for its purchase. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Zoltan. That's a magician's name if I ever heard one. Alright guys, since I'm falling asleep because this game is 
a literal minefield and fucking puzzle invested in puzzles and puzzles and puzzles. I'm going to save here and we're going to call it good. Alright. That's it, guys, for this one. I hope to see you guys next time. And. Thanks for coming out. Nerdcraft out.